Got Steve here with Fitbully TV. So we told you that I didn't solve a chicken problem for French Bulldogs. I solved my own problem with chicken for our Frenchies. Now again, reach out if you're interested. Message me at Fitbully Kennels. I wanted to test as much as I could, as long as I could. And now that I've solved the personal allergy problem, not yours, but mine, I feel more confident. So we're gonna test another theory. We're gonna see how long it takes for them to finish a chicken. <laughs> Now these jokers are kind of feisty, but that there is for burgundy meat marks. So I got the stuff from the store. Then I turn around. Uh -huh. amazing things and when I say amazing it's it's probably one of the cheapest pieces of meat you can get it done so much risk off now these dogs gonna kinda quit y'all <laughs> cheapest meat you can give a dog consistently it's got chondroitin in the cartilage part it's a lot of components to this thing it's cost efficient <laughs> and I'm about to cut some stuff through go ahead show them why I get this water hose and risk this blood off you want this thing Frenchy got no mouth, so they don't even know to do one chicken. So I'm like, bro, this is a lot of work here, man. I should have gave all whole chickens. Now she gonna try to figure it out. She's a booger, a booger wooger. I'm being honest too, they kind of growing on me, people. You know, you, you see them every day. You say, These Frenchies ain't so bad. I ain't never getting a Frenchie dog, to be honest. But you know what? I tell you, you're like, dang, they spend a lot of time with me. There you go. He's a robber baron. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, yeah, you got that in there, boy. That's the neck right there. Always turkey necks. I guess chicken necks. Oh, yeah. What is that thing coming out of there? Uh-oh. <laughs> That's a neck thing. That boy must have the arms. So if you see inflammation in your dog, again, you want to remove the food that is causing problems. I saw inflammation um, originally, and as I repeat, it made me a little scared. A little scared. Don't worry. In this case, I no longer have fear, only faith. I'm surprised they're sharing. They're doing a pretty good job of sharing. That black one gets a little, a little motivated. I feel like the white one is the one that Russo scores the most though. I know, no, that's what I was going to say next, but the white one, she'll turn into a hoochie. <laughs> He's the one that caused tons of problems. Hey man, we'll just give you some chicken, bro. You might not be hungry, he eats good, man. We'll give you some Los Pollos Hermanos. Breaking Bad for those who don't know that one. They're destroying this chicken, man. I tell you, it is a pleasure watching some dogs enjoy some food. And that's how it should be. 
them fishes got no muscles, so they gotta really do some work. Man. Molars, man. You guys know that a French bulldog could have back and neck problems. One, you're born sometimes with herniated discs, but because of an undershot dog, when you talk about a bulldog in general, you literally can uh, basically cause the dog has to carry things with an upright neck, which puts a strain on the back, which only puts more stress in other parts of the body, which causes more problems long term. It's a whole thing, people. Literally a whole thing. Sometimes I wish I didn't read so many books. <laughs> this my story I'm sticking to. From a man I've been to.
dog to you. Twenty years. What's that like? Five years. Who doesn't go make their head bigger, okay? I know people love that cloud head that, you know, French is going to check the food in this case. We already know based on how we bred the dogs, which is why they're like six months old. They're kind of small, right? These are small dogs. They're not meaty dogs. But they look like some healthy dogs. Now, again, people want to like old dogs. But this dog comes with potential herniated fist, potential neck problems. It already has a respiratory and breathing problem. We're talking luxating patellas. These are basic problems that can come. And then they have a trachea problems at times. You go down the line, you go, this is a problem based dogs. Imagine if the nares aren't open enough. Now we have a breathing problem on top of already a, a respiratory issue. So the one thing you don't want to do is overwork your system, make it so overweight and unhealthy that it cannot breathe uh, and is I mean, definitely structurally not sound because you're going to speed up degradation it gave the generation of quality of dog's life way faster than it already was bred with quality purposes. Quality is not guaranteed when you're talking about a French gold dog. Quality comes from ethical people who are considering we're already created by them. That's not making worse. So patience is always key. Good food can shape a dog's quality of life. And uh, how do people know this process? These were the top of the shapes. 22 pounds. <laughs> 22 pounds max. She's the only one, bro. She got a little, little gut. Oh, 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 oh. Put this up here so a couple other ones can have some some chew time. This is gross. <laughs> I'm bang, if I'm banging on this, it doesn't look the best, eh? Come on, get you some chicken now. Good. She's gonna eat some. She needs a little bit more chicken. That's a good thing to do too. Cut the dog off, man. I mean, she was at all you can eat buffet. She still got a leg. Look at that gut. Shh. Look at that gut. She needed a little bit more food. I think he's full. He had some good food earlier, but he actually did some good work on the bones that I gave him. I gave him some, some bones to consider. Hey guys, consider you all this and enjoying yourself. So she'll finish this off, people. Listen, if you've got a French bulldog, remember to pace yourself. It again is the most inefficient dog in terms of energy output. What does that mean? If you wanted to drive somewhere and you only got 10 miles to the gallon, and it took you 300 miles to get somewhere. How It's inefficient to drive a car that only gets 10 miles to the gallon. Oh, my bad. Yeah, 10 miles to the mile. I gotta think how to word this. Point is, it could take you way longer if you don't have, a, if you have an inefficient car to travel the distances, right? Most people want a French or any dog to live for 18 years at least. If you breed a problem, you will create a problem. This problem gets really expensive and even worse. It ain't a problem you can just get rid of realistically. And the, most Frenchies ain't in, um, what's the thing called? Shelters. But they have been put down <laughs> for bad allergies and other things. And I know people that have messaged me, and God bless you all. I said, hey, um, the bully man, listen, 
I'm dealing with allergies so tough and the price has gotten so much. At this point, even my doctor said, you might just want to put the dog down. I said, dang, those are my allergies? So all this stuff adds up and it matters, man. Take your time, take care of your dogs. Enjoy the process. You guys got to watch them eat a little chicken, chicken, chicken. For the win, we're gonna talk about cleaning